Hey, this is Brett, and this 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave is stock number 23J469A. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator and light duty truck headquarters. This 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. This Jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and this vehicle is 100% ready to go. Very clean all the way around. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, start it up, take a look under the hood, show you all the options and just give you the most accurate representation that I can of the vehicle. Hydro Blue Pearl Coat is the color I shoot all my videos in 4K. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, and get updates on the videos I do each and every day, and stay current on our ever-changing and vast inventory of light-duty trucks here at Summit Automotive. Painted and polished aluminum wheels on this one. These are 17-inch wheels, and it has Falcon Wild Peak AT tires. These are LT28570R17s. They have just about all the tread left. I'd say at least 90% of the tread left on those tires. Frame and underbody is extremely clean. You do get the Fox shocks on there. It also has a one inch, um, it's actually a two inch lift, but it's like one inch, inches higher than the Rubicon on the Mojave package. Um, definitely some high tech shocks for the Mojave package. This is a one owner, clean title history, clean Carfax from right here in Wisconsin. You get the color match fenders, the LED lighting group on this one, as uh, the LED lighting group was an option in 2023. You get the orange tow hooks on there, the LED fog lamps, the LED headlamps, and LED running lights. I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. You get the satin finish black grill. The hood is in excellent condition. I didn't see any dents or dings on there. You also get the really good looking Mojave decal on the side and the uh, single cowl induction on there. I don't know if that's fully functional, I believe it is. Coming around to the passenger side fender, no scuffs or scrapes on there and the passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes on there. As you go down this side of this 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave, take note of how clean that body is how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you're far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the vehicle, hear the vehicle, and have confidence in what you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. Now, if this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, it was helpful, and that Brett sent you very clean down that side back wheels in excellent shape four wheel disc brakes on this one back tires have just as much tread as the front tires and you can see the frame and the underbody is absolutely perfect you get those uh, fox shocks back here as well with the reservoir frame and underbody is in very nice condition there's a ton of skid plates on this thing because it is a mojave this thing is supposed to be uh, driven through the desert at high speeds Get the rockers, rock rails on there. Those are in nice shape as well. And the door hinges all look really good. I always like showing these so that you know that they're not corroded. They are all in really nice shape. They say T50 on them because the Torx bit you use to get those doors off is a T50. I did a demo on how to take your doors off your Gladiator. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below, but very clean on that side. The box is in excellent shape. You get the LED tail lamps on here as well. You also get the orange tow hooks back here. Backup parking sensors, full towing package, which includes the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Tailgate is in excellent condition as well. No dents or dings in there. And you get the Mopar soft fold up tonneau cover. It does have a shock down assist, so it's never gonna slam down on you. You also have LED bed lighting back here, spray in bed liner, and that bed is absolutely perfect. I doubt it's hardly ever been used. And that spray in bed liner goes onto the tailgate as well. Shuts nice and solidly. Coming down to the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side. 
no major dents or dings on the rear fender or box side. Back wheel's in excellent shape. And Hydro Blue Pro Coat, it's got a lot of metal flake in it, really a good looking color. One of my favorite colors on the Jeeps. Also note that this one has the color match hard top, which is a really nice feature to have as well. And down the rest of this side of this Gladiator, no dents or dings on the doors. And once again, all the hinges look really good as well. Take a quick look at the back seats. They are in fantastic condition. You get the orange stitching back here, the sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. You get headrests that fold down. These back storage areas uh, behind the seats is lockable. You can put, lock it with your key there and put stuff back there, especially when you have your hard top off. Get these bolts out. Did a demo on how to take the hard top off one of these as well. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen, but no rips, no tears. So the vehicle's never been smoked in. You get the topographical all weather floor mats back here 115 volt, 400 watt plug in, two USBs, two USB Cs as well. And these seats do have a little bit of storage underneath. And you also have a spot for all your door hinge and um, roof bolts right there. And these seats fold down like so. Child safety locks on the back doors and the inside and bottoms of the doors all look really good. Enter and go system. Just have the, have the key fob in your pocket up front. You get the black leather bucket seats. No rips, no tears up front here. You get the Mojave stitched into the backrest with that orange stitching. Looks really good. Driver's seat height adjuster. All weather floor mats up front. Auto headlamps power locks and power mirrors. We'll hop inside, check out the miles, radio, and everything that this one has to offer on the interior. Super low miles on this one, only 7,552 miles on it. You get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, instrument cluster is very nice and clean. You get the leather wrapped steering wheel with the orange stitching, the steering wheel is heated. Cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. This one comes with the 8.44C radio. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on this one. It does have the factory navigation system. There's Highway 41, so you know that is working nicely. You also have your heated seats and heated steering wheel controls and your backup camera, which they've made those crystal clear HD, so you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time, and you can zoom in on that receiver hitch for even better results. You also get all your different apps on here. This one has off-road pages, projection manager, where you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We did an Android Auto demo on an 8.4 if you want to check that out. That's in the upper right-hand part of the screen. And then the off-road pages, they take a second to load, so while they are loading, down here are your more tactile volume tune and climate controls, including your heated seats, steering wheel buttons, start-stop capabilities, stability control, parking sensors, and speed select crawl control. You may be lost but never stuck in a Wrangler um, steering angle on the off-road pages. You turn that and you can see that that angle changes. Also, if you look real closely, the tires up top change as well. Get your transfer case if you're in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Also, if your rear axle is locked or unlocked. Also, you have latitude, longitude, and altitude accessory gauges and pitch and roll. So a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this radio down here is your USB, USB-C and AUX jack. This is for your rear axle lock and your off-road plus mode. Four wheel drive on the floor, eight speed automatic transmission. You do get a Gladiator on top there. Keyless entry with the remote start and the flipper key. Always like these key fobs in. There's a spot for those to sit. You also have the mineral gray dash. There's just a little bit of metal flake in that mineral gray, mineral gray, and it's textured too. It's kind of a cool setup. Passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition as well. No rips or tears. Once again, this vehicle has never been smoked in. You get the crushed eggshell finish on the hard top pieces there. Assist and SOS buttons and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, as well as an auto dimming mirror. Let's start it up and take a look under the hood. And check out all those LED lights in front. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that. 
I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality, condition, and options of this vehicle all the way around, inside and out. Desert rated badge right there, that's pretty cool. And check out just how nice and clean this thing is. I didn't see any major dents and dings on it and absolutely perfect on the inside. All those lights are extremely bright and working nicely. Under the hood, we have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. Once again, this Jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. There is the emissions sticker. And this Gladiator is 100% ready to go. Really a good looking ride. Would not mind this one myself. And I would highly recommend it from a quality, condition, options, and cleanliness standpoint. And to see more pictures of this Gladiator, one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Gladiators, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Gladiator walkarounds on YouTube, as well as staying current on our ever-changing and vast Jeep inventory here at Summit Auto. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Gladiator videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in Hydro Blue Proco. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.